Hello everybody, John 12 back here again with another video, and I'm here to give you my first official top 5 list of 2016. Yes, 2016 is finally here, and I'm here to give you my first top 5 of the week of 2016. And what better way to celebrate this top 5 list than my top 5 most anticipated movies of 2016 list. Yes, these are, these are specifically the movies that I personally am most anticipating in the year of 2016, which is happening right now. These are movies that I can't wait to see. Now, first off, considering the fact I uh, that there are a lot of movies that are coming out this year, I specifically have a certain kind of criteria, if you will, which is considering the fact that majority of the movies that I personally and most excited for and hyped and, and anticipating this year are mostly, to be honest, they're superhero comic book movies, let's put it out there, and that's pretty much the majority of the movies that are coming out this year that I cannot wait to see every single one of them. I am only going to pick and choose one movie from Marvel and one movie from DC. I'm pretty sure you can guess which ones they are. However, those that's pretty much my criteria. And also, considering because there are so much, those are the only ones that are going to be chosen. So the rest of the movies that I am most anticipated to see that will be on this list will be other films outside of the genre of superhero and comic books. So let's keep that in mind. And also, this is my personal list. As always, my top fives are subjective. They're my personal thoughts, my personal list. So please, in the comment section below, if you b would be so kind, let me know what your top five most anticipated movie list is. If there's a movie that did not get in the list that you personally are more anticipated to see other than the ones I mentioned, please comment below and let me know what you personally think. With that being said and done, Let's get into this top five list. Coming in number five has to go to The Jungle Book. Of course, John Favreau's Jungle Book. Now, first things first, I don't really care for live action Disney movies. I feel like it's a despicable, idiotic idea that Disney is doing, which is just making live action adaptions to their classic animated features. I don't think it's a necessity. I don't think they necessarily need to do it. However, after seeing the trailer of Jungle Book, I have to say that I am full on support of this movie. I want to see this movie amongst any other film within this year. It looked so great. The actors are killing it. The CGI looks awesome. Just the music. You could feel the, the, the presence of the animated feature into... Like you could see the inspirations and I love that. And just the overall feel and vibe of this film... I just can't wait to see it. It's my most anticipated movie of this year, The Jungle Book. But moving off of that and going to number four on this list has to go to Warcraft. Now, amongst all the superhero movies that are coming out this year, we're actually getting a good number of video game adaptions this year. And there's a lot of them, and, and some of them I really don't care for. However, after seeing the Warcraft trailer... I am sold. I want to see this movie. That trailer was so freaking good. The effects looked great. The CGI looked great. The actors looked great. The, the story looked epic and awesome. The scope of the movie looked amazing. And coming from a dude who is not specifically a gigantic Blizzard and or World of Warcraft fan, that's saying a lot because I never really got into that whole genre. I never got into Blizzard. I never really got into World of Warcraft or any of that kind of jazz. I I was never that guy who was into that stuff, but after seeing the trailer, I want to see this movie. And there's a lot of video games um, and slash uh, movies that are coming out this year. That's the number one that I want to see. I know there's a whole bunch of other people who would say, the, you know, this or that or that and this. I'm full on Warcraft. I want to see this freaking movie. But moving off of that and going to number three on this list has to go to Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Now... Like the previous movies on this list, this is a film that I gave two shits for when it was first announced. For me personally, I love the idea that Disney got the rights to Star Wars and they, they're doing their own thing with the Star Wars universe and all that kind of stuff. Even though the, the canon is kind of weird and the expanded universe is, non, is non-existent at this point in time anymore, which is unfortunate. However... Their new trilogy that they're going for and the creative artists and filmmakers that they have coming into the projects of this new trilogy, I am so freaking psyched and, and stoked for. However, I was never really interested in the spin-off like um, 
anthology movies that they have planned for this Star Wars universe, this new Star Wars universe. Because for those of you who don't know, Disney pretty much has a Star Wars movie every year coming out post Force Awakens. And even though in theory that sounds awesome, it doesn't mean like every single one of them seems like they're going to be a gigantic gym or freaking, uh, you know, breakout blockbuster. I mean, like they're probably going to end up, I mean, hell, it's Disney and Star Wars together. Of course, they're going to make a shit ton of money, but they don't seem interesting to me to want to watch in a theater. They, they feel like cartoons brought to life or video games brought to life, fan fiction brought to life, if you will, that I don't necessarily need in my personal Star Wars fandom. However, with that being said, after watching Force Awakens in a theater, I fucking want to see everything Star Wars from here on out. I don't even care. Rogue One could be the dumbest movie of all time in the Star Wars universe. I mean, like, it's a movie set in between Episode 3 and 4. I mean, hell, another prequel? Come on, guys. We don't fucking need that shit. However, Star Wars The Force Awakens was so fucking awesome. I want to see it all. I want to see it all. And that, and and to, to see the the amazing people that they have attached to this project, not to mention the amazing cast list that they have for this project, not to mention the images we got for the project... I am so stoked to see Rogue One this year. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be Star Wars and and a legitimate Star Wars, considering the the alleged uh, plot points that there's not going to be any Jedi or Sith involved or what have you. I mean, maybe Darth Vader and the Emperor might you know show up, but there's not going to be lightsabers, which is really interesting. I mean, like a Star Wars movie about well, lightsabers. What the fuck's going to go on in this movie? I don't know, but I want to see it. However, with that being said, and all that hype being thrown out there in your faces. I'm still not stoked about the Han Solo. I'm sorry, I can't I can't help it. I don't give a shit about that Han Solo movie. Everyone else could go super happy and and hype all over it, but I will not. I'm just saying there's only one Han Solo and it's Harrison Ford, and I don't know who the fuck uh random dude off the street they get for this new project, but I'm just not interested. I mean Rus I mean, come on. I, I, I love Lord and Miller, but they they should have they should have directed The Flash. I'm sorry, I, that's just my personal opinion. But moving off of that, and getting to my top two on this list, coming number two has to go to Captain America Civil War. Not a big shocker there, considering, you know, it's definitely my personal favorite franchise out of the MCU. I mean, amongst all the multiple MCU movies we've gotten since the inception of Iron Man to now to its sequel, Avengers films... I love the Captain America franchise. Every single Captain America movie has been so consistently awesome and they've just gotten better and better and better with rewatching it and with every single new director, a new actor, a new, you know, whoever comes a part of the new project. Like, the first Avenger was a great movie. I love it. And then it was just a throwback to, like, my knowledge and my personal love for the character at its specific time. And I loved how they created a period piece for it. And then you had the Winter Soldier Soldier, which was epic as all hell. I mean, in my personal opinion, one of the best MCU movies of all time next to the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy. And then you have Captain America Civil War based on Marvel's Civil War. Hell yeah, I want to see this movie. Hell yeah, it, it's freaking one of the most anticipated movies of the year that I can't wait to see. I mean, Captain America and Iron Man and the rest of the Marvel Universe at war with one another. They're not fighting bad guys. I mean, yeah, that asshole with a fucking blanket over his face is in this movie. But hell, he's not even wearing a blanket. Fuck him. It's all about Iron Man and Captain America, Team Cap, Team Iron Man fighting each other. Fucking Black Panther's running around. Spider-Man is somewhere. Who the fuck knows if he even has a costume who knows but shit is going down in this movie and i want to see it and after seeing the trailer that we got for it oh my god i am so hyped for this movie it's going to be a blockbuster epic and i just i i, I want to see it already it's hands down one of the number one most anticipated not only films but superhero comic book movies and not even only that, but the number one marvel movie that i can't wait to see i know a lot of people are anticipating you know like doctor strange and you know, who, whichever else movie that comes out, but for me, my money's on Captain America Civil War. I want to see that movie immediately. But moving off of that, let's get some honorable mentions out there that did not get on this list, but I'm definitely overhyped and most anticipating seeing this year of 2016. Uh, first things first, X-Men Apocalypse, Deadpool, Suicide Squad, Finding Dory. Yes, I know it's, you know, it's a sequel that doesn't necessarily need to be, but I don't know. I don't know why. I love Finding Nemo, so I want to see Finding Dory. Uh, Ghostbusters 3 could suck, but I'm definitely 
very excited to see what that movie could end up being. Uh, Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the prequel movie to freaking Harry Potter. I mean, I love the Harry Potter franchise, so I can't wait to see what that's all about. Zoolander 2 is a comedy that I can't wait to see. I love the first one, so I definitely want to see, you know, the sequel. And to, I guess, end everything with my honorable mentions, uh, the last thing that I'm really psyched and stoked for is Assassin's Creed. Not a big... Uh, overhyped fan of the franchise, the video game franchise. However, I want to see what this movie could be all about. With that being said and done, skipping off the honorable mentions, let's get into my number one movie. The number one movie that I am super hyped, that I am overstoked, and most anticipated to see of 2016 of this year is Batman Easter Man, Dawn of Justice. No shocker there, very cliche thing to say. Probably the number one thing that everybody else is saying and putting on their list. I mean, like, Batman Superman, Dawn of Justice, I'm not here to, like, criticize or say, like, you know, oh, these movies are gonna suck. I don't know. I have to see them first. However, Batman Superman, Dawn of Justice has the the, the, the pleasure or the, the overall possibility of being either the greatest or worst comic book movie to come out of this year. It has that possibility. However, regardless of the criticism, regardless of the lack of hype or the overhype for the film or the exceeding amount of anticipation, this is a movie that I have to see, that I must see, that I've been waiting for ever since I was a kid and I grew up on the Tim Burton verse and I grew up with the the early 90s comics and I grew up with freaking the animated series and I first saw the world's finest and I saw freaking the crossover episodes with freaking Daly as Superman and and Conroy as Batman and they first interacted with one another I've been wanting this movie ever since I saw that and now that it's a reality and even though there's a whole bunch of other shit thrown in there like Aquaman and Lex Luthor and Wonder Woman and Doomsday and Flash and I don't know Cyborg and who the fuck else of the DC Universe I am still super stoked for this. This, once again, this could be the worst and or greatest movie we get of this year. But regardless of any of that, there's no denial uh, in whichever way it goes that this is a movie that I am definitely most anticipated for and I can't wait to see. I want to see this movie right now in a theater I am most anticipated to see. But that being said and done, this is my top five list of the most anticipated movies that I cannot wait to see this year. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about my list. And of course, if there's a film that was not added in the list itself, please comment below and let me know what your personal top five most anticipated movies of 2016 are. With that being said and done, hope you guys enjoyed. Shameless plug time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been Josh12.